The party was a hit, Captain. I loved how you put the mask in front of you and pretended it's person, a mysterious Mary Jane, apparently. Could you tell me again who won the steering contest? One way or another, the party with the mask was a success. You feel much better now, saner, even. Who would have thought? April's alert, April's vigorous. Tom continues to think of you as a soulmate, even though I didn't feed him. You might want to secure some rations for yourself. Okay, I'm hungry. April's hungry. Dee Dee's starving. Tom is complaining about an empty stomach. Yeah! Yeah. This is bad. This is actually very bad. Okay, but I will be able to make... Tom will make me be able to make more soup. Um, and then that will give me another soup. And that will also give me a power upgrade. Okay, this is going to be tough. Um, thick skinned or headstrong, one is right, the other wrong. That's the message we've been receiving on repeat on comms all morning. I'm having a tough time finding the right channel to block. Maybe you should try solving the armor. I do. I, it's all I can do. The riddle on the radio said that being thick-skinned might be right or wrong. You decided to check, drew straws, and the loser put the armor on to see what happened. At that exact moment, the message on the radio changed into a torrent of noise with just a single decipher all repeating wrong. By the time it quieted down, your spirit sank. I feel hungry. If you'll ask for soup. Tom is complaining about rations. DD is hungry. Uh, why is... I wasn't talking to Tom. Great. Um, should I make a soup now and then do that? Probably. We're all hungry. This is this is quite dangerous. Okay, two of us are starving. Yesterday we picked up a transmission that's been playing for years. Blah blah blah. Dee Dee continues to be a friend. Dee Dee's asking for soup. Tom's asking for soup. I'm starving. April's starving. Okay. The fucking. Ah. Uh. It's actually so incredibly inconvenient that you attack me like this. Every time I'm not prepared. Um, I will give myself some food, April, and I do apologize because I really like you. You are my favorite on the ship. Don't tell my soulmate over there, but you're my favorite. Hello, Jeff. Uh, any conflict can be resolved with cold calculator. Yep, murdered the robots again. Everything is good. Uh, April's still starving. Dee Dee's hungry. Oh no, Tom is starving now as well. That's that isn't handy. What the? Okay. I thought you were saying something. No. Classic miscommunication. Okay. Make me soup. Oh, this is bad, actually, because in all honesty, April, I kind of have to feed Tom because he makes the materials for soup. Captain, don't alert the rest of the pal passengers. But something got the drop on me. It appears to be some kind of droid. It just activated a web sack on its back carries flotsam, metal scrap bits of plant and other oddities, including something which looks like a skull. It's extending its grip to open the airlock. Shall I secure the outer 
airlock door and deny the robot entry? Uh, no, let it in. Maybe it's a friend. Uh, am I family friendly? I'd love to say yes, but no, I don't think so. I, sw I swear a fair bit and I play a lot of games that are uh, definitely not family friendly. So apologies, I'm afraid. It's more uh, safe space than family friendly. I, I definitely swear. Uh, okay. Crank that? Right, we need to get soup into April immediately before she dies, and then... Wait, why is everyone suddenly fine again? That's strange. Uh, despite the little droid's creepy approach, you decided not to secure the airlock. I must admit, I was dubious about such a course of action. But the machine turned out to be quite the resource once inside. Fluttered around gathering up dust metal shavings. A word a little... Uh, and detritus? A word a little, then... Out on its other popped little orbs of material, one of which was a ball of edible organics, a snack. Oh my god, we've been saved by a creepy little robot. See, that's why I always let things come in. Um, it finished cleaning up and left while you sat with the crew munching robo poop. And I loved it. April assures you, I can kind of understand ship DDs. Didi is still complaining about the rack of rations. How is that possible? Oh, I guess you were all starving, I suppose. I guess... That's fine. Um... I'm gonna put... Did I not destroy... The lighter? I needed to make another lighter? That's upsetting. Um, I am going to give <laughs> Tom the soup. Like I say, purely because he has to he has to stay alive, otherwise we are kind of fucked. Uh, Tom says his favorite thing to do during his downtime uh, as a high-ranked salesman at a major corporation was fought around with his company's equipment to try and make it work better. I've never heard of this idiom before, neither have I. <laughs> Captain, I hope he meant to tinker and not to actually fluctuate on delicate electronic devices. He's offering to fart around with some of our items too. I have, haven't have detected any methane spikes in our air supply recently, so I believe he is using the metaphorical version of this phrase. Will I give some to tinker with? Um, I'm gonna... You know what? Again, I'm gonna risk something. I'm gonna let you tinker with a gun in the hopes that you upgrade that for me free. Because we can build a communicator, which is a good reason to let you tinker with a communicator, but I'm not going to do that. That's all I have. I didn't even realize we're into month three. Oh, April's starving. I did suspect she might starve. I gave Tom the gun to fart around with. Tom spent several hours with it, taking it apart and putting it back together. When he was finished, the gun looked functioned. Looked and functioned significantly better than before. April stole my friend, Didi. This is my friend. I called a lighter. Tom doesn't need more rations right now. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, and now I must destroy this. I then need to use that to make soup for April. Uh, I'll buy then. Tom will have allowed me to get more soup as well. Which I might put in April again, unless Dee Dee begins starving. But we also need this expedition. Like, we're, we are in a little bit of a bind, because we kind of have to... 
risk something one way or another because the, the expedition thing, I think it takes four turns to improve, which in that time we'll all be hungry and we have no stockpile. Oh no, Captain, one of the storage lockers is jammed. It cannot be opened. It gets worse. It's my favorite locker. We will lose access to some of our supplies if we do nothing. Also, I will be sad. You need to act, Captain. Uh, I should be able to figure out a lock, right? 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 One would hope. I saw the fucking robot there. Uh, good job getting that locker open, Captain. It took a while to figure out how to lockpick the thing, but your one in a million brain helped. Or your one in a million lockpick? Or both. Not only did you get the important locker open, you found some extra cans inside. That is perfect. Uh, I'm still alert. to you. April continues to look alert, but April is starved. Didi assures me I'm hungry. Didi is starving. They're both starving. Okay. Okay. Make a soup. Uh, I need hey. you to have a soup. Uh, me and Tom are still good, although we're... Oh, I'm hungry now. But that's okay. That is okay. I'm not starving. And, uh... Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna shoot it with my new and improved gun that Tom made me. I'm looking forward to this, actually. Crank that. Shots fired, shots fired, is everyone alright, Captain? That was a well-placed barrage, our assailants are gone for now. Death robots are gone, they'll come back. I still feel hungry. April seems to be good. Oh no, she's hungry. Dee Dee is hungry, Tom is hungry. Alright, we're all hungry, which is bad. Uh, we'll be able to have two, which is fine, I guess. Kevin, you all right? These weird spots on your arms are a little worrisome. Can you see them? Uh, please wait while I search the medical database. Searching. Fortunately, I was unable to identify your affliction. I'm afraid you will have to diagnose it yourself. It shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, I, I can't do it, though. Can't do it. Can I send them back somewhere? Oh, I think I can. Oh! Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay, I... We might actually... Okay, this is fine, because if I'm able to send one off... If I'm able to send one off, then that's one less person we have to feed... Right away, I'm starving. That's not ideal. Uh, weird spots appeared on your body yesterday. You didn't do anything about it, and the situation became much worse. You tried self diagnose, but clearly you're not qualified enough to do that. No, Captain, for the last time, it's not lupus. Sick leave on what grounds? <laughs> what do you think you are? Sick? Sorry, but the space disease is not even in my database. Take it up with your health insurance provider. April's asking for soup. Dee Dee is complaining about lack of rations. Tom is hungry. I look sick. It's hard to tell what the illness is exactly, but I believe the doctor's orders would be take some medicine. <laughs> Thanks. Um, <laughs> such a dick. A first aid kit would be of help. You're starving. Okay. Okay, Dee Dee, you have to eat so that I can send you out into the wilderness. Um, okay, I will have... The other soup. My health is bad. It does say I'm sick, to be fair. Um, I will use the med kit. Uh, I will tell them once again to fuck off. Uh, and I will craft... Nothing. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of the tape. So 
I'm gonna get rid of the tape. I'm gonna send Didi out. This should be good. Because hopefully, I, I didn't realize I could search places again. Had I known that, that would have been, uh, I, I would have been doing that. Uh, yesterday we picked up a transmission that's been playing for years. However, since the message was in a foreign language, you weren't able to decode its meaning. If I were you, I'd make sure to find a guide of some sort to help you translate the message, as we will... Yeah, whatever. Um, I feel healthier today. Okay. Tom is starving. That sucks. Okay. Okay, I can make a soup. Uh, yeah, you're going to be starving soon too. Probably all of us are. Okay. Um, I know that... Um, the canyon I needed armor, right? Give us power. Uh, where did we get... Science. That was where we needed the mask, though, and I don't think we've repaired the mask yet. The temple. DD, head back to the temple. You've already been there once. I'm sure you will be fine. Take the. I don't think. Did I give you the gun last time? Um. Oh, hold on. You can't take the mask? Maybe I did repair the mask then. Um... Oh, actually, I need that battery. Well, oh, that's annoying. Uh, Alright, go in ready for war, Dee Dee. <laughs> Off you pop. <laughs> um... Okay. You're making soup, right? Yeah, you're making soup. Grand. Um, Captain, it appears the species who lived here in ancient times worshipped cow deity. Bovine iconic... <laughs> yeah, I figured that out. Um, bovine iconography is everywhere, including on their fitness equipment. Take this weird machine the crew discovered outside the shuttle, for example, uh, the Mintatron 500 mimics a cow's behavior. You turn it on and it meanders aimlessly, sitting, walking in circles, joining horde groups of other meanderthons. Okay, so there has to be some benefit to this thing. Will you have someone try it or so we can find out? Um, I think this is probably a me thing. <laughs> I think I've already pretended to be a cow once, I think. I think this is a, a me moment. Alright, Dee Dee, get out of here so I don't have to feed you. 